Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 2, Part 90. And, hey look, I'm driving a launch to Delta, because I forgot I've already used one of this in LP. Like, really early in LP. So I bought this and put my stupid livery on it, and my very low-effort livery, a.k.a. just launch a logo. 91. Then again on the hood. Also, I made sure, you know, blue numbers, because C-Class blue. All that shit. And stuff, so. We're gonna be using this, and we're gonna do a little upgrades to it. Um, I should do the arrow upgrades again, except nah. I wonder what wing you can put on this. <laughs> that looks silly. I'm just not gonna do that. Um, hmm. I kinda wanna do something different here. Um, let's go with... Upgraded tire width. It's gonna add a little weight, but it's gonna add a little extra grip. It's a little. Stuff. Um, gonna do a little bit of power upgrades. Not much. I don't wanna go crazy on this. Let's see, where's the uh, cams and valves? Yeah, this will work. 237, 236. And it puts my PI at 536. I think that'll work. Um, I'm gonna upgrade the brakes just a skosh. Just because I felt like it, so yeah. So there we go. That's This is what we're gonna use. And that's the club, blah, blah, blah. And stuff, so. To our next endurance race, it is the. Class C Laguna Seca Grand Prix. Heck yeah. Ooh, Davis leading the charge this time instead of Rossi. Whoa! Whoa, man. Well, anyways. So yeah, there we go. Time for the Typhoon Lagoon shenanigans for 30 laps. Alright, here we go. So I'm grinning up second between Rossi and Davis. Alright. Let's get started. 30 laps around the miles to Typhoon Lagoon. So here we go. Xbox 360 or Xbox One. Hmm. Hmm. I want no. I'm driving, playing on 360. I'm not going to be a douchebag. Also, that four-wheel drive launch. Hello, Davis has more power than me. That much is for certain. So yeah, the whole idea with what doing shit to this car as far as upgrades is I want to do uh, just kind of random upgrades really, which is why I went with tire width <laughs> instead of like upgrading the actual tire compound. So yeah. This looks like this is going to be an easy race. We'll see how Davis does up the hill compared to me, although I fucking royally fucked up turn six. Alright. Good start. Oh, rip that corner marker. Yeah, all will drive too strong. Meanwhile, Rossi is outside the top four. I think something happened to him. And before he uh, went wide at turn three. That's what I'm suspecting, actually. I would not be surprised at all. Come on, Davis, move that caddy. Caddy's not moving fast enough. So yeah, I think this is going to be an easy one. Hooray for poor planning. Or no planning. It's just more so no planning than poor planning.
Okay, see you, demon. Wow, I suck at braking. I'm so glad I upgraded the brakes just to be shit. Yeah, it's an interesting top four we got here. We got me, of course, then Davis, Yoshida, and then Watanabe, who was last place at Sakuba. So going from last to fourth, nice. Kind of like this, the this font of yeah fonts for this car R works really well. IMO. I'm probably full of shit. Yeah, some attrition happened. Actually, let's see where Rossi is. Yeah, he's in seventh. Yeah, some shenanigans happened with Rossi and Johansson. Not sure what kind of shenanigans, but shenanigans happened. So, hooray. Yes, it is an interesting font. Very stylistic. Okay, almost ruined my race there. Should uh, pay attention to the road ahead instead of fucking looking at my car. My shitty low effort livery. You know, Davis is uh, checking out in second place. It's going to be a comfortable drive for the both of us. Oh, shit. See you, Kaiju. Four point six up on Davis after three laps. Some tells me this uh, this race isn't going to go by as quickly, seemingly as quickly as Sakuba. Just a hunch. Okay, let's just uh, not go off track. It's a bad idea. Freedom Month? Since when is June Freedom Month? The fuck are you talking about, mine? Oh, freedom from education, I see. Now it makes sense. Nice leisurely drive around uh, Lagoon Seca. It's that nice. I can't really compare this to the other C class race in Forza 1, because I'm pretty sure it's at a completely different track. I'm pretty sure it was. Interesting little slide there. Back of this car is already. Oh god. 
Love how quickly these cars get su super dirty. Yeah, my uh, car's just a bit OP. Just a bit. How the, I like how the game gave me nine tenths immediately for that. What the fuck? That was weird. And before I had penalty prior to that on this lap. And I just never noticed. I don't even fucking know. There we go. Perfect point nine nine nine. Far am I in this game? Very far. This is the uh, ninth to last race. I only have eight more races to do after this. Woo! Getting so close to that sub 38. One of my best laps of 38.023. Just can't seal the deal. Son of a barch. Marcha, marcha. This is gonna be a race where I just spew random bullshit out of my mouth because I don't know what to say. Because I'm dominating! Oh, okay, well, fuck this lap. My voice is so much different from GT4, it's because I got a different microphone. And a better one at that. Much better. Because Audio Technica AT2020 Pro, it's professional. Even have a professional filter of the popping sound. Z. Big K counter for all my LPs. Uh, how about a fuck counter? Fuck counter would be interesting. Anyway, six laps complete in ten minutes, so that means this is going to be about a fifty-minute race. That was one fifth mark. Fuck gay people. Whoa, now. Let's not get stupid here. Jesus Christ, I'm half a second up. Wasn't that last lap of my best? No, I fucking went off at turn six, dummy. Nobody wants to be a Squidward. Yeah, Squidward. Then we go back to the opposite day episode. I'm Squidward, I'm Squidward, 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 I'm Squidward. There we go, there's the sub-38. Jesus, that took too long. That took way too long, man. I should slow down, that'd be a good idea. Slowing down is a good idea. Yes, the Typhoon, not 100 miles, just 200 is 90 laps, so... Not quite that long. I 
Well, I have a 13 second lead. Fuck. I'm the tag team champions, got that. Nope, not 50 miles either. Because 50 is not one third of 200. Learn how to math, bro. lap comparison. A lot. A lot of time. Okay. Son of a bitch. I made my car too OP. Too OP for this race. I'm not paying attention to where I'm going. was not geared. Yes, I'm enacting pity by going off track. The Rhino GT4 Karaoke Hour, because I've got nothing better to say. <laughs> Yay! Hill Rossi ended up, uh, last I checked, he was in seventh because I'm assuming he went off track on lap one. So, uh, yeah. About that. Yes, there has been an epidemic of SpongeGar memes. That's like the new hot fresh meme, is SpongeGar. Actually, it's time for Rossi Watch. -na 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 -na. He's still in seventh. Whoops. Yeah. Speaking of Rossi, the Indy 500 finish, fucking Alex Rossi. Playing the fuel mileage game and winning. The shit was amazing. And hey, he didn't do a J.R. Hildebrand where, you know, rookie was gonna win, but fucked himself on the last turn. I'm pretty sure Rossi was going too slow to even consider going that wide. I mean, he was probably going like 180 miles per hour, maybe, down during the final lap. Well, I screwed up braking, alright. That was amazing. I've been driving so fucking terribly throughout this entire race, but it doesn't matter at all. 
go me. Yeah, it would've been cool to see Hinchcliffe win. I was I was for either Rossi or Carlos Munoz at the end. Because I don't have no idea who the fuck Carlos Munoz is. Although Hinch Hinchman would have been an amazing comeback story. Would have been amazing. Yeah, I heard the Munoz finished it second in his rookie year, and he also finished second this year. Whoa! Hinchcliffe winning would have been a breakthrough. Ah, I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Laps from halfway. I'm just gonna go ahead and pit it halfway, just to make it even. Ooh, that was point zero zero six off my best lap. Nice, nice, me, nice. Yeah, still waiting for Chase Elliott to win the race. Also, Kyle Larson. Larson more than Elliott. Because, you know, Elliott's still in his rookie season. Kyle, not so much. Hello, Eeg. What's up? This is a 30 lap race. Well, it's a 30 lap cruise for me, but you know. You know, you know. Where are my tires? Almost 50% on the front, it's nice. I saw say. Whoops. A thirty hot lap race, cl clearly. Hot lapping, that's what I do.
Yeah, any Sebastian Vettel race in 2011. That's basically what I'm doing right now. Basically. So, hey, I'm fucking a kilometer ahead of Davis. At least I was for a moment. Get a sub 36.5. Okay, no, that ain't happening. I don't think a sub 37 I can even do. Especially if I keep driving like this, it's missing every single braking point. It's like, oh, hey, let's upgrade the brakes, meanwhile. Gray, almost 28 second lead. Sub 10 second lap. Alright. Let me just activate tur Super Turbo Neo Mega Turbo Nitrous. Sounds like a CGR name for describing something. Anyways, I'm going to pit now. Take a nice drink of my refreshing ice water. Stretch my legs, cause holy fuck. I'm playing with the controller. Just a standard 360 controller is what I'm using. Alright, service done. And back out onto the track. Far in front of Davis. So I'm using the proper pit out thing. Okay, maybe not. Well, I tried. There was an attempt. Yeah, Super Turbo Mega Neo Turbo Nitrous. I'm gonna patent that shit. My car's so OP, I made a pit stop and exited with the lead. Whoa. This controller hurts your thumbs. Mm. If I play too like too much of racing games with 360 controller, my right index finger gets worn out after a while. But other than that. Have any pain issues when playing Vigor games with not a wheel? Okie dokie. 14 laps to go. Thumbs to melt playing an N64 game. Uh, I think you mean an N64 Mario Party game? That's where you just say goodbye to your hands in general.
Whoa. I always have to look at the car going up the Ray Hall Street. Hooray for me. He only broke five uh, joysticks thanks to Mario Party. Only five? Only five. Anyways. Real question is how many hands did you break? Yes, my car has all wheel drive. Which is, uh, really beneficial. Broke all the hands. Good. That means you're really playing. Anyways. My hands to this day are just a bloody stump. if something happened to uh, Yoshida or if he just pitted. Not entirely sure. Oh boy, I'm getting tired suddenly. I did have a long day in, at work, so you know. Fucking nine hours, bro. Fire into the race. Almost right at the end of lap 18. Nice. Hey, Corvette. That's not how you do that turn. I was not looking. Well, I thought I was going to have a damage free race and then I got and fucked up. Rip front bumper. I got too distracted. God damn it. This is the second enduro, yeah. That was fucking amazing. One fucking job. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. Yeah, weight reduction. I'm being faster now. So let's see, what all did I damage? Front, right side, or side, right front brake, right front suspension, and the clutch. Nice. fucking Maldonado to myself. Actually, no, I was more of a James Stewart myself. See, so he crashes out of the lead a lot, or at least he used to. So yeah, there we go. There's a summary. I wonder how much this is going to slow me down. room outside my window. Clutch, more like crutch. This track's boring as fuck in real life. I don't know, I like watching races around it. Especially the Monterey Historics. Love that event. Wish I could go to that IRL. 
like how my right front tire is exposed now because of the uh, fender being bashed in like that. Nope. We'll look at it on the straightaway, the main straight. steering damage. Harry! I have fucking brain damage, that's for sure. So I don't have... Nope, no steering damage. Okay, now, anyways. There we go. Exposed right front tire. I said hi already, Corvette. Bro. I could have made the gearing a bit shorter, but I didn't bother upgrading the transmission, so I don't give a shit. Because I don't give a shit about actually tuning the car. It's OP enough as is, so you know. Yeah, I make an open wheeler in a Forza 2. Come at me. Cometh atteth me, bro. Hey, Davis pitted. He made his pit stop. Now I'm way the fuck ahead. I'm only three tenths off my best lap, so it hasn't really hurt me much. You're not a meme. You can't just say you're a meme. No. They've had enough chance. I'm not hitting any more walls. That ain't happening. Almost, almost exactly one second off my uh, best lap. Nice. Also, I just realized under 10 to go. Woo! It's like a couple guys pitting. Guessing Johansson and Takahashi. Watsonami back into second, or third, excuse me. Yeah, that fuel and chase Elliott almost Montoya at the All-Star race. I'm just like, oh. Like, I wasn't really paying attention, and then all of a sudden I hear just Mike, Daryl, and Jeff go, oh! I'm like, okay, what the fuck? And then I look over, I'm like, Chase, please. Don't do this. Time to stop. So we got Watson Abbey rounding out the podium and Jones in fourth place. Well then. This is a no meme zone. Thank you very much. Chase dude, he almost hit a fucking uh, truck, like a, yeah. He almost hit one of the cleanup trucks on the track during the all-star race. Oh 
Well, that would suck out to drive with a broken windshield like that. If only there was an interior view in this game. But sadly, there isn't. Seven to go. <laughs> yes, broken windshields are good because use other senses, clearly. Well, instead of breaking the windshield, why don't I just drive with the hood up? I mean, come on. I think that'd be better for senses training. Yeah, who needs to look while driving? I mean, come on. I'm not doing that. God. I drive with my eyes closed all the time. I've only killed like four people. Remind me to never uh, be anywhere near Viking in any way, shape, or form. He might just kill me. It might happen. Forty minutes. Yeah. This is what happens when you drive without looking. That right there. Safer be inside the car than outside. I don't know, man. I don't think I'd be safe inside a car you're driving. How much horsepower is in my car? Uh, let's find out. Two hundred thirty-six, almost two hundred thirty-seven. Horsepower. Man, 14.7 pounds of boost. That's quite a bit. But I don't have any damage or engine damage Viking, so my horsepower is. My engine's still at 100%. Mm hmm. Anyways, five to go. Only five more laps. Oh, health plan. 53 out of 100 HP. I see what you mean. No, okay. I get it. I get it. I didn't get it at first, but I get it now. Oh, hey, there's my front bumper. By the way. Someone's gonna get a souvenir after this race.
have a half minute lead. God damn. I'm so far away from the rest of the field. Yeah, me crashing into things? Come on. I would never do that. I, I, I never do that. I'm a completely 100% clean, consistent racer. Never crash into things ever. Nope. Not me. Not me at all. Absolutely not. Jokes, anyways. Yeah, I did once say that about Enduros. Either you win it by a lot or not win it at all. Although, there, you know, there have been a couple occasions where I barely pulled out a victory in Enduros. You know, GT3 uh, Monaco. Hell, a GT4 uh, Sakuba 9 hour. I didn't win by much at all in that race, considering it was a 9 hour race. A GT5 Sakuba 9 hour was kind of like that as well, if I remember correctly. Except I did that. Did I end up fucking winning by a couple laps in that? I don't remember. Then there was the GT4 100 via uh, Motegi 150 mile oval race, fucking. where I didn't take the lead until like lap 84 out of 100. Forty-two seconds. Holy shit. Still have that song stuck in my head, by the way. Cause Gojira, bro, and he was, oh god. Expect the Nurberg way back then, don't have life, it's okay. I'm a no life piece of shit. According to uh, some people on YouTube, commenters, for doing all the Enduros and GT4 all A spec. I really like that one guy, it was on the GT4 Sakuba 9 hours, like, this is really cool and all, but you have no fucking life, dude. And then someone res that wasn't me responded to that, and he just fucking went. It's like, yeah, well, I'm fucking... I got a successful job, I got a lot of money, I can fucking blah 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 blah. Like, alright, calm down there, Mr. Keyboard Warrior. Calm your vagina. How can someone be mean in YouTube comments? I don't know, man. Yeah, it's pretty rare. Almost never happens. I'm a little bit surprised that Rossi has not been able to recover. I'm not gonna lie here. He's probably still down in 7th. Yeah, I know, my GT3 videos are very kill. One day I'll redo that LP. One day. No more pink vits hype. You never know. I might get a million pink vitses in my real LP, just like I did in the original. Fucking pink vits holocaust. I just realized there's some like purple in this color, not just blue. 
Either that or it's just the way it's... I don't know. I, I don't even know. <laughs> yeah. Let me break down your shitting driving skill during a long play over a span of multiple comments and let everyone know that I'm being a jack-off on purpose because I need attention because mom beats me. I think that's the best description I've ever read, Q. Spend all my credits on pink vitzes, but I can't get pink vitzes in pink normally. Or else I would. Also, we're on the final lap here, by the way. That's a thing. Should reply to that guy with the oh, come on, Q. That comment's at least like over a month old. There's like a one week threshold to replying to comments without being stupid. Come on. Yeah, white flag. One lap to go. Looks like this is gonna be just under 50 minutes. Just under. So hooray for that, I guess. That nine looks a little weird in that font. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just dumb. Do a drift finish. Fuck no. I ain't doing that shit. I ain't having that shit. All I'm having is the victory. Ha <laughs> ha. All right. Transition time. Okay, everyone's crossed the line. I won by 49 fucking seconds over Davis. Watson well, Nobby third, Jones fourth, Johansson. Hey, Rossi made it up to sixth. Whoa. We're the fastest lap of the AI drivers, Davis. Okay. And then Yoshida and Takahashi bring it up the back. So, there we go. Mmm, that repair money. Hey, 120,000 credits for winning the race at least. <laughs> we can see the level up thing again. <laughs> I like watching that, it's cute. By cute, I mean fucking ridiculous. And stuff. Oh my god, I've got all these upgrade discounts now. Wow! Sweet. So, now we get our trophy, a prize car, and another 60 grand. I guess the uh, the bonus credits is uh, half of the race winning. It's interesting. So, hooray, 180,000 credits, plus other shit. Anyways, hey, I got the real-time uh, NSX. Nice. The one that Petey Cunningham sucked at driving in the... Uh, championship he was in with this car. Motherfucker. So. There we go. Tour and tour. Wow. Two Enduros down. Eight to go. So, next time on Forza 2, we're going to go to Maple Valley. Ooh. And do some B-Class. So, stay tuned for that.